back in this video we will be uh, seeing how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for determinate frames so let's start this today's discussion so frame structure what is a frame structure a frame structure is a one which rests upon beams columns and slabs to resist the lateral and gravity loads so basically this is the idea of a frame structure resting upon beams columns and slabs which resists the lateral and gravity loads acting on the structure so what is a determinate frame a determinate frame is one whose reactions can easily be determined by using the basic conditions of the equilibrium similarly uh, this is the question to check whether a frame is a determinate or an indeterminate frame 3m plus r minus 3j equals to 0 m is equal to number of members in the frame R is the number of reactions and J is the number of joints in the frame. So how we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams for frame. So consider an example in which uh, there is a hinge support and a roller support on uh, columns of this frame. This is a, a UDL uniformly distributed load in horizontal direction x direction with a point load on the beam these are the and this is the value of uniformly distributed load 2 kN per meter a point load of 120 kN and thus portion a b having a length of 12 meters then portion b to c having a length of 10 meters then c to d portion 12 meters length and ei flexural rigidity of uh, members is constant in this case so how we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for uh, determinate frames let's consider these steps so step one is first check the determinacy of the structure so what is the determinacy of structure we will apply the previous equation we have already seen 3m plus r minus 3j equals to 0 and m is the, actually the members there are three members and there are three reactions how two hinge reactions and one vertical reaction of a roller sport number of joints is uh, j r is equal to 4 there are four joints so we will apply a uh, put these uh, values in the equation of determinacy and here is equal to zero so it is uh, clear that it is a determinate from step one so step one is to check first determinacy of structure we have found that our structure is a determinate if we do not apply this uh, equation we, go, we can obviously uh, see that there are only three reactions and we have three conditions of equilibrium so we can determine these reactions very easily but we have uh, considered these steps first we are checking the determinacy then second step is to determine the support reactions how we can determine the support reactions we will write three conditions of equilibrium and first one is sum of horizontal reactions should be equal to zero and uh, this is the a support and it is a having a horizontal reaction uh, hinge having a horizontal reaction and one vertical reaction and there is no other horizontal reaction except this udl acting in uh, horizontal reaction ax minus the vertical reaction dy and there is no other vertical load point uh, except this point load of 120 kN meter sorry 120 kN so ey plus dy comes up to 120 kN so now applying third condition of equilibrium sigma m uh, is equal to 0 uh, in this can in this case we are taking moment at d equal to 0 and uh, vertical we are written the vertical reaction of a y and x on the support and vertical reaction over here so at d the reaction will have zero moment and similarly a y into its span length of 10 meters producing a clockwise moment taking it as negative plus 10 into its span length of 5 minus 2 into as uh, taking counterclockwise as positive similarly this horizontal reaction uh, into, uh, of 2 
into 12 of its total length and half of this UDL producing a clockwise movement and taking it as negative so we will get out the value of dy ay from this equation 45.6 when we will get this value we will put these values in this equation ay plus dy to get dy is equal to 74.6 kN so ay comes out to be 45.6 kN and dy comes out to be 74.6 4 kN. So we have determined the reactions of the supports by basic conditions of the equilibrium. Now we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this frame. So now we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for each member of the frame. We will the each member of the frame into various parts and we will draw separately the shear force and bending moment diagram for each member of the frame so first up first we will split in the frame into parts and we will apply the equilibrium equations at each joint of this frame so i have separated the portion ab of this uh, member of this frame i have uh, designated the reaction horizontal reaction a vertical reaction and a moment over here I will apply the horizontal reaction in equation, equilibrium equation, sum of all vertical reaction should be equal to zero, sum of all vertical reaction should be, our uh, moment should be equal to zero, bx is equal to zero because this horizontal reaction of inch is balanced by this counter UDL 12 into 224, so bx is equal to zero, similarly by minus 45.6. There is only one vertical reaction occurring, so 45.6 counter in opposite direction, same in magnitude but opposite in direction will be provided, so by is equal to 45.6 kN. Now I have applied the moment and we will take a moment over this joint, sum of all the moments should be equal to 0 at joint B. I have taken counterclockwise moment as positive over here, minus 24 into 12, 24 is this reaction and this moment arm of 12 meter minus 24 uh, into 12 this will produce a clockwise moment and clockwise moment is taken as negative here plus 12 into 2 12 is the uh, moment arm over of this UDL horizontal forces and 2 into its uh, UDL intensity and half of this UDL intensity half of this UDL length is 6 meter and B is equal to 144 kN meter counterclockwise positive moment is taken as a counterclockwise and negative moment is considered the clockwise same so we have determined the reaction now we will move to the next portion portion bc in bc portion uh, we will take the reaction in same in magnitude we we have already seen but in uh, opposite in direction similarly this moment which was acting as a clockwise this will be shifted over here to this b joint as a clockwise and similarly the we will take a moment over this joint now cx is equal to zero because no horizontal reaction or horizontal uh, axial force is acting so cx is equal to zero and sigma y is equal to zero cy is unknown over here but we know the by 45.6 minus 120 this negative force so C Y comes out to be 74.6 km. We will take moment as at joint C equal to 0. We are taking out of as a positive minus 45.6. This 45.6 into its total moment arm of 12 meter acting in act producing a clockwise moment. Considering this joint C minus 144, this clockwise moment acting over joint will also be considered here plus 120 into 5, 120 into its moment arm of 5 will produce a clockwise moment so mc or the summation of moments over c joint comes out to be 0 kN meter now portion cd in portion cd only this vertical reaction is acting of 74.6 kN this will same of magnitude will act but in uh, opposite direction so we will provide a same magnitude force over here but there is a no horizontal reaction we can see so dx is equal to 0 
and uh, dy will be provided but in opposite direction but of the same magnitude similarly sigma md is equal to 0 there is a mistake sigma md should be equal to 0 there is a no movement will no vertical direction is acting so movement will also be equal to 0 now we will draw the shear function bending moment diagram for each frame now first consider the ab portion i have shown this ab portion over here with UDL intensity well, in this reaction, horizontal reaction and a moment over here so we will draw the vertical line considering x axis and y axis this first we will uh, go or draw this vertical reaction of 24 kN 24 kN we will go upward and similarly we will uh, subtract this vertical Reaction or the intensity of UDL 12 into 224 24 minus 24 comes out to be 0. So, shear force is 0 at the end of this uh, frame joint at a B joint. Now, we will draw the movement diagram. We will take the area of this uh, shear force diagram 24 into 12. This comes out to be 144, and 144 a counterclockwise also is acting over. When we, whenever we will draw the shear force bending moment diagram, we will consider counterclockwise movement as negative and clockwise movement as positive so 144 minus 144 this is equal to 0 shear force diagram is having a 1 degree this is a 1 degree shear force diagram whereas the bending moment diagram is at of 2 degree now a bc portion for bc portion we will draw the same vertical reactions and movements over this beam as we have did uh, performed earlier we will go 45.6 kN upward then there is no other reaction acting we will go towards this 120 kN acting downward we will go downward 45.6 minus 120 comes out to 74.6 kN then no other load is acting we will go straight towards this joint and we will add this 74.6 kN and this comes out to be 0 so we have 0 shear force at this BC portion to draw the bending moment diagram, we will take the area of this figure, but 144 kN meter of positive clockwise moment is already acting. We will start from just above the zero degree, zero uh, ordinate. Similarly, we will take the area of this figure 45.6 into its length. This will come out to be total 372, 144 plus 45.6 into its movement arm of uh, 5 meters now 45.6 into 74.6 into its for, uh, span length of 5 meters this comes out to be uh, 372 of negative we will subtract 372 minus 372 which is actually equal to nearly equal to 0 minus 0 0.9 or 0 kilometer meter so now be CD portion for CD portion no horizontal reaction only horizontal reactions are acting there is no vertical reaction over here so its shear force diagram is equal to 0 and bending moment diagram will also be equal to 0 so there is no uh, 0 degree shear force line and a 0 degree of bending moment no shear force and more bending moment diagram for this portion so in this way we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for it frame first step is to check the determinacy whether it's a determinate structure or whether it is an indeterminate structure in second step, we determine the support reaction. And third step, we split the frame into various parts and we apply the equilibrium equation that you joint of the frame. Similarly, for BC portion, for CD portion, then last step is to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for each frame, and noting down the reactions or the moment which we have determined earlier for BC portion for a beam being part of this frame and similarly the other CD portion so in this way we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for a determinate frame that's all from the shear force and bending moment diagram for determinate frames